In this video, we'll take a look at workflow options for someone that wants to use Lightroom and Photo 10 together. To access the Photo 10 application from Lightroom, you have a couple different options. The first is to go up to the menu bar and click Photo, and then Edit In. And you'll see that we have our On One Effects, Enhance, and Portrait applications that we can launch from here. Another way to access this is by going back to the main screen in Lightroom, doing a right click, and then you also have the edit in option again for effects, enhance, and portrait. So let's go ahead and choose effects. You'll have a pop-up window that comes up and you have three different options for how you want to handle your file as it goes over to Photo 10. This first option allows you to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. So that means that any changes that you've done within Lightroom, those are going to be applied and then that copy is going to be created as it goes over into Photo 10. The second option allows you to create a copy, but it won't take into account any of the Lightroom adjustments that you've done. Your third option is just editing the original photograph, and therefore a copy won't be created. When you choose Edit a Copy with Lightroom Adjustments, you have all of the file handling options here below. So you can choose file format, things like color space, bit depth, and resolution. When you choose Edit Copy, you'll notice that that gets grayed out, and that's because Lightroom handles the file handling. I'll show you how to access that and create your settings. So we'll go ahead and hit Cancel, go back up to the menu bar, click Lightroom, go to Preferences, and you'll see here we have Additional External Editor. So we've got On One Effects 10, Enhance, and Portrait. So we have the same options available to us for file format, color space, bit depth, and resolution. Let's head back to our main Lightroom screen, and then we can jump into effects, apply a preset, and come back round trip and see what that looks like within Lightroom. So I'm going to right click, edit in, and choose effects. I'll go ahead and click on that. And again, we get our options. I'll choose to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Click on edit. When you choose the PSD file format, it's going to ask you if you want to use a normal photo or a smart photo setting. And basically what this is doing is if you choose smart photo, any layers that you create in photo 10 are going to be preserved. Whereas if it's a normal photo, it's going to flatten those and you can't come back at a later time and re-edit those. I'm gonna choose smart photo. So I'll click on smart photo here. I'm gonna choose a quick black and white preset so I can go right over here, click on the black and white category and I'll just choose something like this. When we come over to the right side, I can see I have a black and white layer, and then I also have a vignette and a border layer. So I'll click Apply, and that effects preset gets applied to my photograph, and I have that copy back in Lightroom. So I can see that copy right next to my original. Now if I want to reopen this into effects, we can see that we still have our layers available to us. So since this is my copy, I'm going to go ahead and edit my original, and we want to take a look at this within effects. So you can see on the right side, we can come back in and all of the layers are preserved for us, the borders, vignette, and the black and white. So by single clicking on one of these, again, we can expand, open those options, and re-edit the photo.